Welcome back to Midpoint, everybody. I'm Ed Berliner. We continue to follow the story that is now coming to us from the Middle East via the Internet, and it is another tragic story. A second American journalist, Stephen Sotloff, the young man, the video journalist from South Florida, has apparently been beheaded by the group ISIS. He was, of course, the second hostage that was being held. James Foley executed last week. There was the warning that this would happen. There is now also the threatening of a life of a British captive as well. Let's find out more about this right now. We welcome into the Midpoint Studios right now and onto the set. John Bachman joins us with more. John? And a new report from the AP just coming down. That is Stephen Sotloff's family is aware of this video. Of course, they're working right now with officials from the White House and from the State Department. We just had a chance to hear as well from the White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest. And this was happening as he was taking the podium today at the White House saying, he had not heard about this, but also saying uh, that their thoughts and prayers are with the Sotlaw family. We did get a little bit more information from the State Department. We hope to play that soundbite very soon. State Department saying that, uh, you know, if in fact these vi this video is uh, accurate and, and it's true. Um, well, actually, we have that soundbite ready. Let's go ahead and play Jen Psaki from the State Department just a few moments ago discussing Stephen Sotlaw. If the video is genuine, we are sickened by this brutal act taking the life of another innocent American citizens. Our hearts go out to the Sotloff family, and we will provide more information as it becomes available. Okay, so these things take a little bit of time, as we saw with the James Foley video. The National Security Council, they usually get in there. They have experts analyze these videos just to make sure uh, they are, in fact, you know, what they purport to be, and that is an execution of another American here. Of course, after the execution of Foley, we saw more American airstrikes. We heard about those airstrikes uh, this weekend, which pushed back heavily against ISIS. They had threatened to do this once again with Sotloff if the U.S. continued that campaign, Ed. Now uh, it, it appears as if they were living up to that threat. Well, there's so many things here again, and speaking to the intelligence experts as we have, and we've been staying on this, certainly Tony Schaefer, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, has been keeping up with us on, as well. As you pointed out, the need to not only find out exactly to verify the video, but now they have to discuss when it was taken because there still is a discussion factor as to whether or not James Foley's video was taken weeks, uh, weeks before, whether it was mm -hmm. done immediately, was this done immediately, and now, of course, we have David Haynes, who is the third potential beheading right. individual here because now he's a British citizen, a British journalist, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. So they are going to continue, and this seems like, as we had discussed and as Tony Schaefer discussed with us, they're going to continue to just do this one at a time, and it is going to continue to be a stop-us-if-you-can video setup, which ISIS is continuing to go to, uh, they will continue to throw at America. Uh, there appears to be one key difference, too, with the way that this video was released. ISIS had apparently sent out a message that this video was going to come out today, uh, and then it was released somehow through back channels. Uh, and here you have uh, some still images coming off uh, this purportedly new video there, which shows uh, Saltloff there. Um, but they didn't release it on the social media sites the same way that they did the last time around because uh, the government has cracked down on those. They found a new way to track that. So ISIS is, is apparently adapting the techniques here. But what was also interesting in some of the reports that we're seeing, Ed, coming out of this it, it are the statements coming from the executioner. And now it's unclear if this is a translation or if it's once again a uh, British voice or, or an English speaking voice talking about here, but here's the quotes uh, that are allegedly in this video. I'm back, Obama. I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, despite our serious warnings, the fighter said on the video. So just as your missiles continue to strike down on our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. And we are also now hearing some reports, too, as to what Sotloff said on the video as well. Again, this is what purportedly was said on the video. Uh, and I quote Obama, uh, let me back up. This is Sotlov addressing the camera. Quote, I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing. Obama, your foreign policy of intervention in Iraq was supposed to be for preservation of American lives and interests. So why is it that I am paying the price of your interference with my life? Uh, then, of course, uh, the militant holds the knife at his side. Later, the video then cuts to the militant who says that as long as U.S. missiles, quote, continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people, unquote. Camera cuts again. The militant then appears to kill Sotloff. This is, this is theater for ISIS, as we have discussed in many ways. For the people who are involved, they use the Internet very well. We need to once again stress to many people that our intelligence experts here at Newsmax tell us constantly, these are not stupid people. These are not a bunch of guys in the desert who simply are grabbing guns and killing indiscriminately. They know what they're doing. They're smart. They're well-funded. 
well-educated, and they are using social media to its prime example and its prime privilege to get not only to the American people but to the world as well. This, and I bet you I can speak right now. By the way, we are being told that Tony Schaefer, Lieutenant Colonel, uh, Colonel Tony Schaefer, is going to join us later on here on Midpoint, and we will discuss a little bit more because he's talking to his sources right now and get more for us. This is not the end. This is going to continue. This is just the beginning for these people because they do it, they can, and they can make an impact. Now, we know President Obama was uh, scheduled to go to Estonia later today. No word yet on whether or not this is going to change his travel plans, but we would have to think, uh, once again, this kind of reframes that pres the president's statement from last week saying that they don't have any kind of real strategy to combat ISIS, even though we know he was talking about Syria. The, the general perception was that the White House doesn't have a real strategy to combat ISIS anywhere in the Middle East. We also heard a change in the president's tone, I guess it's fair to say, and when we saw the president speaking mm -hmm. from Martha's Vineyard after the Foley execution, now the president, uh, again, is kind of in the spotlight. How will he react to this video? And I guess what we can hear from folks like uh, Tony Schaefer is, is the president reacting too much and not acting enough before this stuff happens? We're going to go right back again to optics because the last time we heard the optics of we don't have a strategy, going out and playing golf, doing certain things, the president is going to have to be concerned about it this time, but also I think that finally with a second American dead, the Americans are going to want action here. Yeah. Sooner and or we later. know ISIS in the Middle East were also on the NATO agenda, strangely enough, even though NATO was created to combat the Soviet Union. We'll have to find out more about that. We'll have hopefully more information from the White House as well, and I'll be with you here, and then we'll get some more information from Tony Schaefer. John Bachman and the news crew will bring us a whole lot more information. We'll be back with more right here on Midpoint.